Good evening. Good evening. Este, buenas tardes, oyente, teacher. Ok. No problem. All right, welcome to another English class. Let's start with um, the class number 21. So I hope you are doing well. And today we're gonna have we're going to review some info from the manual. Okay, so please get ready. Get ready. All right. Uh, today it is September, October, November 15th. Okay, November 15th. All right. So there we go. Okay, there we go. So please open your manual. Open your manual 20 page. Let me see page what? 32. 32. Okay, this is a conversation that we had in the previous class and it says what makes brand what makes brand memorable. How effective is it to copy business idea? And it says, read the article about the importance of being first to create memorable brand. Then answer the questions below. Check answers with a partner. And it says, about 40 years ago, marketing strateg strategist Al Rice, Al Rai, I guess it is, and Jack Trout offered the word a way to think about a making a brand memor memorable the best way to remember is to the is to be first into your prospect mind representing a clear a clear um where i'm sorry a clear perception think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function Scotch tape, Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox. It's not an is not accident. They were also the first. People love to know what's new. When can we can help ourselves? Markers know this too. If a product gets our attention. And if it really is new, it gets more than an, our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have, hope to create you'll find it hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick up different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix, who had never made it, if Reed Hasting's idea had been to open a bunch of st stores to complete with Blockbuster. At the time, Netflix, oh, Netflix, Netflix launched the perception a uh, blockbuster was firmly established into minds of most prospect as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped the problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online that was new. Okay, well, I, I'm going to need a volunteer to read the first part. Okay, this. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer to read that part that is in blue. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Concepcion. Go ahead, please. About four years ago, marketing strategist Earl Rice and Jack Trout offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable the best way to be remembered is to first 
into your prospect mind, representing a clear perception. Perception, okay. Thank you, miss. All right, I need another volunteer to read the following part. Think about. Me, teacher. Thank you. Me, teacher. Yes, miss. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scott Tate Clinics, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what, what is new. We can't help ourselves. Mar marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention, it gets it gets remembered. It can remember. It gets remembered. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Rosibel, for your participation. Can I, I need another one, please? Me, teacher. Thank you. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. Okay. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you had hoped to create it, you will find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect, prospect mind. Excellent. Prospect mind. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, and just to end it up. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you. Uh, okay, Netflix will have never made it if real hosting's idea has been to open a bunch of store to compete with Blockbuster. Okay. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firm like established in the means of most prospects as the go to uh, place to rent movies. Netflix size step size the problem more time, more by time. Netflix size Apple. Okay, okay. The problem by creating a perception of itself as the go to place to rent movies online. That was new. That was new. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Luis, for your participation. Okay, any test? Who offered the concept of memorable branding? Who offered the concept of, mem of memorable branding? Okay, well, well, also we have this conversation. Any test, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple put the honor of the brand aren't trying to hard to create brand awareness for this product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names 
in all their words, this cinnamon soda, you are taking about needs to make people recognize it, to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, well, that is the conversation we had last time. All right. One more time, I'm gonna read it again. It says, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have, I saw they only have three or 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple, simply, but the owner of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for this product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumer are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda, you are taking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Okay, how about Miss Rosibel and Mr. Luis? Okay, Miss Rosibel okay. is Cecilia and Mr. Luis is Lucas. Ready? Okay. okay. I, ju I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visit their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple path. The owner of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their products. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher safe and become more competitive. Excellent, thank you. Okay, Miss Concepcion. I don't know if she's there. Sí, Can you be yes, Cecil sir. Celia? Okay. All right, and I don't know if Miss Cecilia is over there. Okay, teacher. You are Lucas. Okay. Ready. There we go. I okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. Cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visit the fan page, I saw they only have three hundred likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. And it's probably an unknown brand is simply put uh, the hours uh, of the brand are trying too hard to create a brand awareness uh, for the product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca Cola. Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. 
Well, uh, just consumers are aware of this one and their images and names in other uh, words, this cinnamon uh, soda. You are talking about this to make people rec recognize to get higher salaries and become more competi competitive. Competitive or competitive. Compared. Okay, what is add? Does anybody know what add is? Add. add. What is Anuncio. add? I'm sorry? Anuncio. Okay, exactly. It's a short form of saying advertising or advertisement, right? It's a, sh it's a short form. Very good. Okay, how about, let me see. I wonder, do you remember this verb? Wonder. We use it in the indirect questions. Indirect questions preguntarse preguntarse exactly i wonder very good all right well um also we have the vocabulary part what is well i'm going to give you one minute one minute to analyze and remember the info, okay, the vocabulary and the and the description. One minute. Okay, okay, okay. What is a brand recall? Brand recall. What is brand recall? A consumer is able to recall the name. All of right. A brand exactly. A product Very good. Thank you, Miss. All right. A recognition. Consumers can correctly uh, identify a particular product just with a visual kiwi. All right. I Thank you. Know. Very good. Excellent. Let me see. Then we have top of mind. Top of the mind. First, the first brand customers can think of for a product category. Okay. It is category, Miss. Category. 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 Repeat it for me. Category. Category. Very good. Excellent. Category. Okay. Then we have brand dominance. Brand dominance. Customers can't recall any brand, but yours for a particular product. Cate category. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Exa exactly. Un unknown, unknown brand. Customers, unknown brand. I'm sorry? Customers don't recognize okay. your brand. The consumer or the customer don't recognize the brand. Your brand. Excellent. Okay. Okay, very good. 
Let's continue. All right. We have this already. And we have another conversation. Okay, here you will find some mistakes. Like this conversation we had yesterday. And we found some mistakes related with the double negative. Double negative. Okay, it says, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. <laughs> That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but I, you know, it makes you look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. All right. Well, um, let's review this part with one of our classmates. Okay. Whoop. We're going to review that part. Uh, 40, no, 36. Okay. 40. 36. Sí, lo corregí, me equivoqué. I'm sorry. Vaya, démosle, pues, practiquemos. Okay. Yes. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop sharing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed you change in at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan. Designing happiness that not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it, make, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help. You. They will help you with the business. Okay. ¿Quién está con nosotros? Sí. Está mejor Dani me conoció. Ay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Chicas. Hola. Hola. ¿Ese, ¿Puedes compartir la conversación, por favor? Quiero ver si, si, si puedo. Vale, por favor. Diga que estoy desde el teléfono. Yo también, pero vamos a ver si puedo. A ver, vaya, perfecto. Gracias. Ey. No. Ay, no me no. regañen. No, 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 estamos no, le estamos ayudando. Lo que pasa es que usted lo está leyendo como estaba arriba. Y abajo solo es you don't know anything. Ah, y ar sí. arriba sí tiene but I don't know. Okay. You, mean you... you mean you don't know anything. Okay. You mean you don't, you don't know anything. Anything, Olivia. E anything. Uh -huh. Olivia. Ok, voy, 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 voy. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo of the business. I know, noticed that uh, you changed it a uh, left spike, ties last week, and fixed the spelling. In your slogan, design ha happiness eh, does not correct. Uh, I never no 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 reset. No, no. ¿Cómo? I never notice. I never noti notice. Sí. No nothing. About uh, the spelling mistake when I made it bad to know, it makes it look original. You mean uh, you never no noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia, they will help you with the business. ¿Lo dije bien? Ok, solo que cuando va leyendo trate de ir viendo la puntuación también. Ok. Mm -hmm. Bien, I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. Videos que le ayudan al tema de la pronunciación. Ya la pronunciación. Vaya, entonces si gusta practicamos, ya, ya lo leyó y veamos. Sí. Ok, si quieres empiezo yo. Ok. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed uh, last, uh, at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it, make it, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. ¿Quién más se nos unió? Sandra. 
En la página 36, Sandrita. La que estábamos practicando ayer. Yes. Ajá. Ok. Y si quieren practiquen ustedes dos y ya luego yo practico con Sandrito. Ok. Bye. Ok. Um, um, sorry. Sorry, Karen. No, te sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it a last five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it make, makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Uh, I can start. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know anything about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start your food, stop changing the logo of your business. Business. I noticed you changed it at least less five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Okay. Vamos nosotras. Eh, si quieres, yo empiezo. You never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant. Uh, Olivia, they will help you with the business. Okay. Va a iniciar ahora usted con Olivia. Okay. I am. I'm, I'm. I'm trying to set an online business selling headmate dresses. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan. Designing happiness does not correct. I never not noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant. Consultant, Olivia. Consultant, se pronuncia. Hello? Consultant. Uh -huh. Okay, I think you're very hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, eh, ¿se gusta seguir practicando? Contestamos las dos preguntitas de abajo. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Y I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. ¿Se gusta practicar? Si gusta, sigamos practicando. La respuesta está ahí. Eh, rapidito la, la contestamos. Démosle, okay. Ceci. Eh, Ceci. Ceci, se fue Ceci. Se fue Ceci. 
Va, practiquemos si gusta nosotros dos. Ok. Vaya. I'm trying. I'm trying to set an online business selling. Handmade dresses. But I don't hello, know hello. nothing about branding or marketing. No you podía you... encender mi micrófono. Ok. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo or your business. I know that you changed it at, it at let Liz. Liz. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Liz, I think. Liz. Liz. at least okay. five. But, okay. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed, noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Hoy, um, I'm, Olivia. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed, noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Ceci. Hola. Hoy sí. Con quién. Que se me viene. No podía encender mi micro. Bueno, <risa> usted elija. Vaya. Y eso yo. Uh -huh. I'm trying to set an online business that I had made dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. ¿Con quién le gustaría? Quien quiera. You choose. <laughs> ok. Uh, Ay. Eh, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo or your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed, noticed uh, nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to set an online business selling ha handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Do you mean to, you don't know anything, Olivia, to start to pull the top changing the logo of your business? I noticed that you changed it up late five times last week. When fix the study in your slogan, this design happiness uh, does not correct. Vaya, repítame nuevamente, por favor. De, lo de Leo. Okay. <laughs> you think you, you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could start something. The logo. Vaya, of... a, 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 ese ahí, ¿cómo? después de stop. Changing? No. 
Changing. 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 Uh -huh. Changing. Uh -huh. Changing. Así. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, va. So. You may, uh, you don't know anything, Olivia, to start your food, stop changing the logo uh, of your business. I noticed that you can change it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it has less five. By, oh, oh, by the, 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 the font. Uh -huh. I, I noticed you, eh, el verbo está en pasado, change, pero termina la pronunciación casi como una T. Change. 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 Uh -huh. I noticed you changed it at least. Bye, continue, please. I noticed you changed it at least. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Okay. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Re finish. Finish. Any, anything. Uh -huh. Este no, este nothing, le, le quito. Sí. Uh -huh. Anything about y lo demás, ¿verdad? Así es. Ok. Es una doble negación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería... I don't have... Anything. Aquí sí, anything también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No. Sí. I don't have anything. Sí, por el, por el don't. Así es. Uh -huh. Anything against. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Well, uh, now that you already finish practicing, uh, we're going to read it here.
Okay, it says, how about me, Sandra, and her classmate, please? Okay. I am sorry. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. It's, um, trying to set online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything on media? They said you could stop changing the logo of your business. Business, I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it made it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Excellent. Very good. Good pronunciation and fluency. Thank you very much. How about Mr. Guillermo? Hello, hello. Hello. Who is your partner? Uh, I don't have a partner. Okay, how about if Miss Cristina help him? Okay, teacher. Okay, Mr. Guillermo, you begin. Okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five, five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes uh, it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Business, thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. How about Miss Karen, Leticia? I participate with Sandra, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, how about Mr. Luis? Okay. Ready. Uh, anyway. I'm, try I'm trying with to Miss set... Concepcion. Okay. Okay. I I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changing at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Good job. Okay, how about let me see Mr. Daniel and Miss Rosibel? Okay. I start teacher. Please. I'm I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. 
You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan. Destiny happiness that not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it when I made it. But you know it makes it look original. Mm -hmm. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business. With the business. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. About, let me see. Well, I guess we are done. Miss Cecilia, can you hear me? Hi, and, teacher. And let me see if let me see if Miss Concepcion can help her, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's start. Okay. okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changing at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it, but you know it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Very good. Thank you. Microphone. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. All right. So yesterday we did the exercise with double negative. Okay, and it says the department doesn't know. Number one, what is the correct form? The department doesn't know anything about branding. Excellent. Doesn't know anything about branding. Number two, who wants to read the correct form of, of, of number two? The manager never tells us anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Excellent. Very good. Number three. Number three. I don't have anything against billboards. Excellent. I don't have anything against billboards. All right. A uh, three, we didn't get any increase in sale after advertising on Facebook. Number five, the customer don't want any change in prices. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Here it says a uh, uniform building vocabulary. The full the following. A word describe the stages that customer go through as they build loyalty. Okay, yesterday we're going to do exercise number two. Okay, there we go. Exercise number two.
Present. Ahí no sería la for. En what? Ahí, ahí donde tiene la flechita. Ahora. No. This is number two. Customers are aware of your brand, but little edge. Number five is customer start to think about whether the brand meets their wanna needs needs. Performance. Sandra. Hello. And number five, performance is customer start to think about whether the brand is number three. Mm -hmm. I put uh, the first, first number five is the customer begin comparing the brand with others to see whether uh, what, what the, oh, it the label the label is potential. And it's potential, yes. Wait. La dos. Customer are aware are of aware your brand. Of your brand. Uh -huh. But little but dog. Uh -huh. yeah. Presence. Bonding. 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 Those members have the term meaning that starts uh -huh. at the stage. And, and performance. And perform performance are all are at, levels. All at levels that they are happy with. Or customers start to think about. Mm -hmm. No, but that's really no. Why? Customer Customer begin. Begin. Um, the brand with others to see whether. To deliver and its potential. 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 We finish it, teacher. I see. Thank you. Okay. They are happy with bonding. It's bonding. The customers are aware of the brand, but little else presents. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's five one five one four three two. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, loyal to lealtad es como es como fidelidad ahora o lealtad no está bien entonces vamos a ordenar ahí eh, 
de mayor, o sea, eh, eh, en el orden que nosotros creamos, no creamos, sino que vamos a ordenar eh, las diferentes etapas que están ahí arriba, pensando en, en una marca, por ejemplo, para que se nos haga más fácil. Ordenar las etapas de la, de la lealtad de la marca. Este, ajá, de la marca, la pirámide. Entonces quiero ver, vamos a ver qué va primero. Han puesto arriba Bounty. Pero es una última, ¿no? Depende como la quiera ver. Mire, al final eh, vamos a comparar con otros equipos a ver cómo, cómo se sí, Pero bueno, ponen en, en circulación. Sí, pero ese concepto no me, no me no lo siento tan. No me hace match. Ventaja, por excelencia. Voy a buscar en el diccionario. Tengo... Elevado. 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 No veo no, garantía, la razón no sé. por la cual Bondi esté al inicio de, de la pirámide. Ah. ¿Es lo último, creo? No necesariamente. Es una... Mire, bonding lo ven que en el diccionario ya británico aparece como garantía o garantizar. Mm. Tiene más lógica si estamos con un tema de mercadeo. Mm. Aunque si lo traducimos literalmente, parece como vinculación, pero uh, vinculación. No, en el diccionario de sinónimos está Guaranteed, Secure, Bounce, Under, uh, sí. Entonces, si Entonces, si que en ese, oye, ahí sí tendría sentido que esté en la, al, al inicio de la pirámide. Entonces, vaya, si eso es garantía, el segundo, no sé. Sí, relevancia o relevance o present. Uh -huh. Empecemos del menos importante, que sería, digamos, como la base de la pirámide. Podría ser. Eh, podría ser. Eh, present o. Relevance o. ¿Cuál otro? La que veíamos al inicio, avantage. Entonces, es que eso depende para o sea, eso para mí, yo no soy mercadólogo, ¿verdad? Entonces yo lo veo en función de como consumidor. Como consumidor abajo yo le podría poner eh, presence, que es, es la presencia, o sea, para que algo a mí me atraiga, tiene que tener alguna presencia, me tiene que llamar la atención. Me llama la atención, yo veo las ventajas, sería Avalanche. Bueno, entonces me dice que como lo mismo, entonces. O sea, yo, yo, ojo, estoy, como le digo, viéndolo bajo el punto de vista mío como consumidor, no soy mercadólogo. Entonces, para mí tiene que ser la, la presencia de, de, de... Pensemos en, en una marca o pensemos en un producto. Entonces, primero la presencia, después eh, sería... Eh, o sea, me llama la atención a, a través de la, de la observación, entonces ahí tengo clara la presencia. Después me voy quizás por... Eh, por, por ventajas del producto uh, de ahí eh, quizás le pusiera performance y de ahí quizás eh, relevance, relevance. 
Ajá, así en ese orden lo dejaría yo. Yo se lo pudiera razonar y justificar. Por ejemplo, ese yo lo dejaría, ese que acaba de escribir, lo dejaría en el, eh, como de abajo para arriba en segundo lugar. Ah, yo lo había entendido al revés. Que lo que nos estaba diciendo era de siempre en orden piramidal. Va, entonces, eh, igual. Eh. O sea, como, como dijiste que era Ajá. así como lo primero que verías fuera así como la presencia. Entonces pensé que eso era así después de una garantía ver la presencia de la marca. Que eso era lo importante. Ahora, la garantía. A ver, veamos, veamos, veamos. Quiero razonar eso. O sea, la, la garantía para mí es como ya un colateral. Es decir, me tiene que llamar la atención y ya una vez yo, eh, con, eh, ya cuando me ha captado mi atención, empiezo a investigar más o a preguntar más. Ya de los, dentro de los últimos, es, es, o, o elemento importante como para tomar la decisión, eh, el periodo de garantía. Pero como inicial, la garantía no, no me, o sea, yo no elijo un producto por su garantía. Ah, pero uh -huh. es marca, ¿verdad? Ordene las etapas de la fidelidad a la marca. Ah, complicado. Obedece las etapas. Ah, pero después dice que, que, que comparemos con, con, con otras parejas. Entonces, ¿será que una, a, a menos que, que no se razone, no habría manera de explicarlo? Pero sí podemos hacer eso. ¿Y cómo habías pensado, eh, Cristi? No, estaba así como un poco de acuerdo porque pensé de que después de Bondi iba a poner de ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, presence, relevance, advantage, and performance, algo así. O sea, yo lo, he, yo lo he dejado en este orden. Después de Bonding está Relevance. Después lo he dejado Performance. Después Avant Avantage. Y por uh -huh. último Presence. Presence. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. Y yo lo justifico sí. como, 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 como explico, o sea, como usuario. Como consumidor, sí, tiene como todo sentido. Pero sí. ya como mercadólogo, no quisiera buscarlo en internet y decir, ah, esta es la respuesta. Porque ellos aplican la, 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 ya, la eh, base de, 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 de la. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Qué pasa, Luis? ¿Qué manda? No pasa. Ah, no, usted, a usted le sale bien bonita. La... Relevance. Press. Relevance. Relevance. Okay. Yes, relevance to next uh, presence. Presence. Mm
only that exercise we have to do. Okay, no, verdad? Okay, B, G, Z, Z, Okay, Z, 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 Estaba viendo, estaba viendo de, no creo que fue lo de ayer, que hay un, un, un paréntesis, ¿verdad? De exercise six.
Aquí estoy feliz. Fíjese. Hi, mister. Hey, how you doing? Finish. Finish. Did you finish the activity? Yes, mister. Good. Ready for your vacation? Ah, no, no, you had vacations. Yes, yes. ¿Cuántos días, mister? How many days? Eight days, mister. Eight days, ah. Sí. Half uh, vacation. But are paid. Being those those being are paid. Excuse me? Are paid those days. Days, those paid. days. Are paid. Did you... Do you get paid for vacation? Si le dieron, si se lo pagaron. No, 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 no pueden. Yo quisiera que me las pagaran, pero no, okay. no quieren. El problema es que eh, no hay, o, a, al menos donde estoy yo, en la, en la sucursal que estoy yo, eh, el segundo mando no, no, no lo puedo dar mucho tiempo a cargo. <risas> ok, se le puede ir eh, arriba. Me no, 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 para nada. O sea, y, y no es ser petulante, pero lo que sucede, él, él, como le explico, yo, yo, yo comparto los conocimientos que yo he aprendido, uh. pero eh, para que me alcance a lo que yo sé, eh, híjole, no, no lo puede hacer tan fácilmente. Tiene que volver a por, hacer. No, lo puede llegar a hacer. Lo que pasa es que tiene un año de estar a, desde que se ascendió. Y lo okay. que le decía hace, sí, hace un ratito es que eh, es una carrera que, o es un puesto de trabajo que hay que estar leyendo todo el tiempo. Porque hay, hay algo que se llaman normas prudenciales, que son las leyes políticas, normas y, y todo lo relacionado a, a la banca. Okay. Y o, en este momento, por ejemplo, la unidad de investigación financiera ha creado tanto normativa para... ¿Y se trabaja en un banco, mismo Sí, en el sistema financiero. ¿Trabaja en un banco o en una caja de crédito? Algo así? Eh, sí, no, no es banco, no es banco de primer piso. De hecho, dejé la banca en el 2020. Porque... Ah, eh, ¿Nos puede conseguir ahí un préstamo, entonces? Sí, de hecho, tengo, por ejemplo, en este momento, un lugar... Cero, donde... cero desembolso. No, cero desembolso no, porque... Tal vez cero descuentos o pero, de cuentos, pero sí. ¿no? No es como que le desembolso no, no le dan nada. Fíjese que en este momento el banco hipotecario, de hecho, está Ay, manejando Cecilia. líneas de crédito, pero buenísima. En serio. Sí. Entonces la banca se divide en dos, banca de personas y banca de empresas. Yo me dedico a la banca de empresas, a atender desde la micro hasta la mediana. No, no aplicamos nosotros. Con, pero en la banca de personas sí, y quienes, bueno, quienes manejan el monopolio es eh, el Banco Ag eh, Agrícola y el Cuscatlán, pero eh, ellos clasifican a las empresas y de acuerdo a la clasificación le ponen una categoría, de acuerdo a esa categoría son los beneficios que le dan, entonces el agrícola y el de, eh, el de vivienda y el, eh, el Cuscatlán, eh, se enfocaron directamente a eh, entidades del Estado. Por ejemplo, órgano judicial, los maestros, eh, eh, el Ministerio de Salud. Uh -huh. eh, ese es un nicho de mercado y, y rara vez se mueven de eso. Entonces llega otra empresa, digamos, aunque tenga buena calificación, pero no con esa garantía. Hablamos de, de Pizza Hut y todo, porque esas están bien calificadas, pero ya no le dan los beneficios que le dan a las entidades de gobierno. Ah, el gobierno era el entonces, 9, creo, el 8. Sí, entonces ahí salió eh, el hipotecario que atendió a ese segmento que no han querido atender los demás. Entonces ellos tienen unas políticas bien blandas y tienen eh, productos financieros que, que vienen a competir a, a los que les ofrecen a los del gobierno. Ah, no, entonces no. El, hipotecario, sí, el hipotecario está bien interesante. Pero lo que hay que entender es el destino del crédito, porque si el crédito es para consumo, es decir, pago de deudas, compre vehículos, lo que sea, 
si se puede ir con el hipotecario o incluso con el Banco de América Central. Solo que el Banco de América Central eh, no tiene las políticas de eh, garantía ante un incidente. Por ejemplo, usted tiene un accidente, se enferma o hay un desempleo, Uy, no quisiera deberle al Banco de América Central. Y el hipotecario no. Él sí, la... el banco, ¿verdad? sí, correcto. Ahí eh, yo, y le digo porque yo trabajé ahí. Es de, de, de pensarlo dos veces. Es mejor directamente hacerlo con el hipotecario porque ellos, si usted tiene un incidente, le dan eh, ayuda financiera a que logre salir de esa situación. Lo pueden llegar a esperar hasta un año. Ah, qué cool. Sí, o sea, usted no puede pagarlo, esperan un año, solo que la deuda se la trasladan al final. Pues. Oh, wow. Pero no, pero pues, en un año logra resolver cualquier situación. Interesting. Usted es la persona correcta que, que puede orientar a muchos. Sí, sí, definitivamente. Bueno, al rato le pedimos asesoría ahí. Bueno, en el, en el ahí. ¿cómo se llama? En el restaurante, ¿cómo que se llama? Ah, sí, Garden, sí, sí. Que sí. Sí. Va, va a haber oportunidad. Va a haber chance. De hecho, ahí está mi número. Cebollines. Cebollines. No sé, voy. Eh, ah, he tenido la oportunidad. Bueno, hay, hay muchos que venimos desde, desde hace un año de venirnos conociendo. Y, y sí, eh, eh, yo lo que les puedo garantizar es que eh, les voy a dar mi punto de vista. Porque la cuestión es esta. Ante una situación, ya sea de, de inversión o una necesidad, y la única manera de poderla solventar es a través de un financiamiento, eh, se necesita tomar una decisión inteligente. Y ahí es donde yo vengo y le puedo decir, va, esto es lo que le conviene, pero eh, tenemos esta y otra, otra opción que lejos de, de, digamos, de no ser la óptima, funciona en el, en el corto y mediano plazo. Por ejemplo, algo que debería de hacer toda persona es primero no endeudarse. Pero si ya tiene deuda, reestructurar pasivo. Reestructurar pasivo es decir, ya no tener tantas deudas, sino que unificarlas y quedarse solo con una. Y si es posible, a largo plazo. Uh -huh. Porque eh, la deuda tarde o temprano se va a pagar. Eh, las tarjetas de crédito no las recomiendo para nada, ni para emergencia. Hey, yo, yo tengo casi girar, eh. de, de no tener y no me morí de hambre. No. Para la, la, es que la tarjeta de crédito fue inventada inicialmente y, y estamos hablando de abalcar la tarjeta naranja y todo eso para endeudar al prójimo y quienes le han sacado el mayor provecho son los empresarios que ellos lo utilizan como medio de pago porque okay. tienen bien claro la fecha de corte y la fecha de vencimiento entonces no, ni siquiera el pago mínimo hacen, ellos eh, utilizan 500, 600 dólares póngale para echarle gasolina a, a sus vehículos, pero antes de que termine el mes lo abonan y, y simplemente lo que hacen es acumular beneficios para ellos porque muchas de esas tarjetas tienen Punto. eh, puntos de viaje o, o acumulan puntos de otra manera y los canjean yo, te eso, hago, Luis? yo le puedo dar ah. una estrategia de eso cómo hacerlo eso ya se nos acabó el tiempo ah ok chévere utilizando el archivo el archivo wallet ah ok Pero... ay teacher nos va a contar <risa> Está bien, está bien. All right, well, uh, here, here, here we go, here we go again. Okay, and it says, okay, all right. Well, uh, the vocabulary, the, the vocabulary practice and it says building vocabulary. The following word describe the stage that customer go through, go through the, as they build loyalty to a brand. 
product or organization match the stages to their corresponding description. Okay, I'm going to read the description and you tell me, for example, the word that correspond. Customer begins comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers or on its potential. Performance. I'm sorry? Performance. Performance. Performance, okay. Customer are beginning to associate the brand with their emotion and with their sense of self. Huh. Advantage. I'm sorry? Advantage. Advantage. Ad advantage. Advantage. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Advantage. Advantage. Okay. Customer start advantage. to think about whether the brand meets their, their wants and needs. Relevant. I'm sorry? Relevant. Relevant. Relevance. Relevant. Good. Relevant. Consumers have determined that cost, advantage, and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Hmm. Bonding. 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 All right. And eventually, customers are aware of your brand, but little else. Present. Presence, excellent. Okay, well, now we're going to go over a topic that is called indefinite pronoun. Vamos a ver algo que se llama los indefinite pronouns. Pronombres indefinidos. Okay, in Spanish, we, ha we have also indefinite pronouns. Tenemos también in pronombres indefinidos. Por ejemplo, decimos ese, aquel, alguien. Okay. Nos estamos refiriendo o nadie, entonces son, son equivalencia en español, que son indefinite pronouns porque no estamos especificando la persona o, o el lugar. Okay, entonces vamos a ver todos los indefinite pronouns. In English, we have different kind of categories of indefinite, indefinite pronouns. We have for people, for places, for things. Okay, for example, here we have some sentences. Number one, Miss Sandra, can you read the two, one and two? Is anybody home? Excellent, and? Where is every, everybody? Excellent, Mr. Luis, four and three and four. Three and four. Please. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. And there's nobody home. Excellent. Very good. Uh, then it says, it seems everybody is out. I didn't tell anyone and no one can bake a pie like grandma. Okay, here you can see different, different indefinite pronouns. But tell me, where can you see, where can you see the indefinite pronouns? ¿Cuáles son los indefinite pronouns? For example, here, what anybody? is the indefinite pronoun? Anybody. Anybody. Okay, this is the everybody. indefinite pronoun. The second one is everybody. Everybody. Anybody. Anybody. Nobody. 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 Everybody. 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 Anyone. 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 No one. No one. Okay, those are indefinite pronouns. Pronombres indefinido. For example. So here we have, for example, everyone, we have everybody, everything, everywhere. What are indefinite pronouns? ¿Qué son los in, uh, pronombres indefinidos? We use indefinite pronouns to refer to people or thing without saying exactly who or what they are. Utilizamos todos esos pronombres indefinidos para referirnos 
a personas o lugares que no son exactamente especificados. For example, someone is a door. I don't know who it, it is. It's not, it's not defined who is there. Okay. Every, everyone is here. Everyone is here. I need everybody to Mr. stand up. Excuse me, Mr. Go ahead. Podría regresar a la lámina anterior. Claro. Por favor. Gracias. Un gusto. Ok, algunas oraciones. Some sentences. For example, everyone is here. I need everybody to stand up. No one is here. Nobody went to the concert. There are bugs uh, everywhere. There is nowhere else to go. We would like to say something else. Okay, those are sentences using indefinite pronouns. Son oraciones utilizando eh, indefinite pronoun. Vamos a ir, por ejemplo, para people. Para people tenemos someone and somebody. Para persona. Someone or somebody. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre someone and somebody? Ninguna. Ok, ambos significan lo mismo. Alguien. Lo que puede ser que si vamos a lo allá, a lo más profundo de grammar, podemos decir que somebody es más eh, formal. Pero eso no, ya es ser demasiado quisquilloso. Ok, however, somebody and some, someone and somebody are both same. Lo mismo. Also, we have anyone and anybody. No one. Nobody, everyone, and everybody. Ok, cabe mencionar que todos estos son únicamente utilizados para persona. Persona. Ese es someone or somebody. Es para persona. Ya el uso del prefix, el some, any, or no, or everyone, ya lo vamos a ir especificando poco a poco. Vamos a ir describiendo. Then we have... Something. Something es para cosas. Cosas. Something. Anything. Nothing. Everything. Everything. Ok. Also we have para lugares. Places. We have somewhere. Somewhere. Also we have any anywhere. Okay. Continue. For example, we have nowhere, nowhere, and everywhere. Ok, así hame una pequeña breve introducción. Cuando utilizamos some, significa alguien, someone, somebody. Se utiliza de forma, en forma afirmativa. Cuando decimos something, puede ser como alguna cosa. I got something to tell you. Tengo algo que decir. Y somewhere es como algún lugar. Algún lugar. Cuando utilicemos some, lo vamos a utilizar para afirmativo. Ok, any se utiliza para negación y pregunta. No, like no one, nobody, nothing, nowhere. Se utiliza para cuando el sentido de la oración es negativo. Pero el verbo se mantiene en su forma afirmativa. No sé si me voy a entender con eso. El sentido de la oración es negativo. Pero el verbo se mantiene en afirmativo. Es como lo que vimos ayer para evitar doble negación. Por ejemplo, si decimos no one. No one. 
came to my party. Nadie vino a mi fiesta. El sentido de la oración es negativo porque nadie vino. Pero el verbo se mantiene en afirmativo. Ya vamos a ver más esto. Every, everyone, everybody. Se va a decir como todos. Todos o todas. Everything, todo. Everywhere, en cualquier lugar. Ok. Here we have the explanation. We use tense pronouns to deny or refer to an absent or person thing, place, none of something. Affirmative sentence. Nobody knows the truth. Don't use in negative sentence. Lo que se estaba mencionando, cuando utilizamos no, el sentido de la oración es negativo, pero no vamos a utilizar auxiliares en negativo. Por ejemplo, no vamos a decir I don't or nobody doesn't come. Sería erróneo porque estamos haciendo doble negación. Sería nobody eh, knows the truth. Nadie sabe la verdad. Nadie vino a la fiesta. Nobody came to the party. I want nothing. ¿Ok? No quiero nada. I want nothing. Pero si usted dice, I don't want nothing, está incorrecto. Porque hay doble negación. Ese es con el, con el uso de no. Nobody, no one. No sé si me va a entender con esta, con esta parte. Yes, teacher. Okay, Every, thank you. After, uh, everybody. Uh, everybody se refiere a todas las personas. Okay, a todas las personas. For example, all of the people on the guest list came to the party. Everybody came to the party. Todas las personas vinieron a la fiesta. Everybody. Everybody will go to the meeting. Todos irán a la reunión. Ok, eh, forma específica. There is something under the table. Hay algo abajo de la mesa. También se puede utilizar en preguntas donde la respuesta es afirmativa. Did you say something? Did you say something? Aquí también podemos decir, did you say anything? Positive statements. There is somebody in the kitchen. Para solicitar algo, un request. Can you send someone to help me? Or would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink? Una oferta, una solicitud. For example, someone is at the door. I don't know who is it. It's not in def define who is there. Alguien está en la puerta. ¿Sabemos quién está? No lo sabemos. Por lo tanto, utilizamos un pronombre indefinido. Ok. En este, ¿cuál sería? Would. Um, no. Would anybody or would nobody like another coffee? Uh, nobody. Nobody. En este no. caso, oh, uh, sería any. Any, anybody. any es para pregunta o negación. Ah, es cierto. Oye, vamos a seguir practicando los indefinite pronouns. Solamente recordarles, 
eh, cuando utilicé 